Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I finally received my latest uh, package from Trick or Treat Studios and they sent me the wrong stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of angry. I um, I ordered the mask when it was first put up for pre-order. This is the new 78 classic Michael Myers mask by Trick or Treat Studios. And I also ordered these two uh, enamel badges. They're really cool. But I ordered the 2018 coveralls and you know i double checked it was absolutely you know 100 the 2018 coveralls that i ordered i've double checked the receipt and then the most recent email when they told me this was shipping and they sent me the 78 coveralls and i already have the 78 coveralls i got the best ones you can get they're the big macs from 1970s i got them on ebay because they are the real deal and yeah so now i've got the wrong coveralls and it was all because i wanted to put the right coveralls with my 2018 mask so um it's a bit of a mess obviously glasses aren't supposed to be there and all, all that stuff's not really supposed to be there but just having a little bit of a tidy up at the moment but yeah they're the wrong coveralls um i got in touch i'm not sending them back i've had to pay a 40 pounds customs charge 40 pounds sterling custom charge on this stuff you know it cost enough as it was but you know after having to pay that and then receiving the wrong stuff well, obviously these things are right they got that right they got the mask right they got the badges right but the wrong damn coveralls and it's right there man like whoever's packaging this up so i'll keep these try them on and uh, try the mask on i have tried the mask on already it fits really well <laughs> yeah i just wanted to put it leaning back because um you couldn't really see it too well when it wasn't leaning back hey michael myers yeah man if you're new to the channel there's a few figures here a few we've got something really special on the way soon michael myers related custom figure michael myers related so you're gonna want to keep it locked but they um oh what's the dude's name who sculpted this it should be on here shouldn't it justin is it something justin uh come on who sculpted it Damn it. Well, whoever it is, I think his name's Justin Mabry, is it? I'm thinking maybe someone else. I'm thinking of a, I don't know, the name Justin Mabry is in my name for some, uh, in my head for some reason. Uh, that could be. Oh, there he is. Yep. Sculpted by Justin Mabry. So he did an amazing job on this. I mean, the hair is fragged. <laughs> it's jank. It's just not good. But um, I've seen rehauls on this and uh, one guy, Nick, oh, what's his name? Like the mask pit on uh, Facebook he makes incredible masks and does cool overhauls and stuff he just used the stock hair on this and he completely made it look just amazing so I know I'm gonna have some fun with this I'm gonna fix the hair as best I can and do a bit of a black wash very very subtle black wash um, over the mask and just try to tweak a few things here and there so I'm gonna be bringing you plenty of videos uh, as far as the life-size Myers stuff goes so I'll try these on see how they fit I mean like I said, having the real Big Macs over there, these are incredible. And the material was really, really thick. Um, yeah, see, when it was dark, they looked navy blue, but they're, they're actually kind of a weird charcoal gray with a bit of blue in there. But when the lights are off, it goes um, blue, just like in the movie. But these are the Big Macs. Um, they feel, they're really tough. Like, I guess they're fire resistant as well or whatever, but these are the real ones, man. These are old as hell really good condition and that's a nag nightmare mask that's a very expensive replica mask really 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 good um i mean it doesn't get much better there's plenty of really good ones out there though this is not you know the best one ever there's there's a lot of the best one ever when it comes to one one scale 78 mask but this is definitely one of them you know, the hair is on point like really accurate if you think about the scene when he's bursting through the the closet you know bursting through and the light bulbs above his head the hair looks exactly this color this exact same kind of texture uh amazing stuff really really cool but you know i've already got the damn 78 coveralls so that's why i really needed the 2018 but hopefully they get back in touch and say look we'll send you the right ones um we don't expect you to send these back hopefully because that's not happening but um yeah hopefully they send me the right ones anyway i'll get these out i want to see the quality it's good to have the real deal big macs to compare these two so that's interesting i guess that should really be a separate video because i don't want this video to be too long uh, i'll show you these badges I'll tell you what i'll bring you a separate video comparing the trick or treat studio 78 cover rules to the real cover rules from the movie so uh, that'll be an interesting video and that'll be coming up really soon 
Uh, I'll try this on in a bit and we'll see uh, how it looks. It's nice because I have tried it on and it's the biggest mask I have now. The 2018 is very tight, but it does fit, but it's really tight to wear. And the Nag Nightmare Mask is also very tight. That's actually the tightest one I have. Uh, this is wearable, but you know, you're aware of it whenever you're wearing it. It's like um, you can feel it just touching your skin constantly, and your eyes are pressed up right against the eye holes, which I don't like. Whereas on this one, it's definitely bigger. Uh, the eyes, uh, well, my eyes are quite set back, so you do even the daylight, you get a nice little shadow sort of hiding them. But anyway, the sculpt by Justin Mabry is really, really good. Very, very cool. I'll tell you what, we'll take it outside quickly and we'll just have a look because the lighting plays a big role in this one. It's got little kind of blue highlights and stuff in the ears, around the, uh, the cheekbones and stuff. But we'll take it outside in the natural light, even though it's a pretty miserable day outside, very rainy and windy, but we'll just get a quick bit of footage in the natural light for it. Yeah, it is literally raining, so this is going to be very quick. Just to let you see in the natural light. All right, it's really starting to come down. If. but from far away you can really see it man i mean the sculpt is definitely just it's oh man it's really good it really reminds i know the hair is messed up and i will fix that but i can see so clearly like the guy uh nick i'm sorry i can't remember his last name uh he's out there in the usa and he has uh, his basement, I think, or his workshop somewhere. It's called the Mask Pit, and he just does those uh, you know, incredible work on masks, rehauls, and from scratch, and all that stuff. Uh, but he showed a comparison between his rehauled uh, version of this next to that classic picture where Michael Myers is standing at the banister, holding the knife, looking down, and it's exactly the same. It's crazy. The sculpt on this mask looks amazing. Uh, the lights are off in here. It's just the natural light. Well, actually, there is a light shining at him. But there you go. But the sculpt is brilliant. I really like this. I mean, it's crazy how different that looks to this one. You know, I mean, I guess um, this would obviously be based on the, the Nick Castle stretch, maybe. Is that what's going on? Plus, my mouth isn't too open on my mask, which is OK. Uh, the lips are already quite dark under the nose, has a nice bit of weathering there. but. Still going to give a very, very, very mild black wash just to bring out some of the little details and stuff. Maybe a bit more skin tone around the neck, but I'm going to do a bit more research. I know my stuff, but always best to have a little recap before you start, you know, taking the paintbrush to it. And the mask came in a box, but I think that's only because the coveralls and badges were in there too. Um, recently I've been seeing that Trick or Treat Studios has been shipping out their mask just in a bag. And the mask is all flat and squished and mine was all flat and squished inside the box anyway. That's why the hair is just mangled. Uh, even though I've tried to sort of get it to go back, it's just doing its own thing. There's um, too much hair at the back so I can cut away some of that hair at the back and use it to kind of conceal the hairline and maybe bring the hairline down a touch. So we'll see about that. But there's a lot of things that need to be done to this to get it looking the way I want it to look. But the, at least the sculpt of the mask is really, really good. I mean, that's that's what you need as your base, obviously. Now, uh, let's take a look. So you've got the 78 little enamel badge here. It's really nice, man. It's really cool. Won't be wearing it. I just want to... I like um, stuff like this. So we've got a few old badges like this from the 80s and 90s various different things um, so I haven't had any wow I haven't had any new ones in many years but I really like these obviously that's the 2018 one notice how the font is accurate as well to each one really 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 nice excellent well that one will be going over here with my 2018 collection even though there is a 78 there as well but uh, the rest of these guys are all 2018 Myers so that's where you should live. I'll take it out of there. And this one, live there for now. There's another one that I got. Uh, that wasn't from Trick or Treat Studios. That was uh, creepcompany.com. That's a really nice one, man. It's very nice. <sighs> All right, so it goes on nice and easy. It was um, you know, easy to take on and off, a lot easier than the other ones I've had. 
And I don't think, it doesn't look like you can see my eyes because they're nice and sort of far back in the mask. So it's pretty decent. I really like it. I mean, it's, it's comfortable. You can breathe in it and um, just need to sort the hair out. <laughs> It's sort of my hair, god damn it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man. That's crazy. Hold on, let me just let me just correct myself. Get myself looking right. Go out tonight. Snatch some ass. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Alright. There we go. See the hair just needs to come up a little bit. I need to chop that, stick it here, do a little black wash. Nothing too serious. You know? So yeah, man. It's big, but it fits. Fits. Yeah, man. Because there's nothing worse than when the eyes are pressed right up against the eye holes and you can see them. I mean, it's, it's daytime now, so imagine at night you won't even see the eyes. It's really good. And um, my chin, obviously the top of my head is resting on the top of the mask. And my chin is actually... Well, my chin is not digging into the chin of the mask. There's a lit, there's about... Feels like uh, about that much space before my chin touches the actual mask chin. So... Uh, even when I open my mouth to talk, it doesn't affect the mask. So, but that it definitely does on the uh, Nag Nightmare mask, and it definitely does on the 2018 Trick or Treat Studios mask. So there you go. <coughs> anyway, it's making my body look small. Am I shouting? I just I just want you to be able to hear me because I'm behind the mask. You know what I mean? Hold up. Well, I guess that's about it. I'll be back soon with more videos on the mask and the coveralls. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Destroy it. Smash that. All right. See you later. Peace. <sighs> it does get stuffy. I'll tell you that. Get stuffy up in here. Let me just turn the brightness down. Go ahead. Ooh. There you go. I'm genuinely breathing. <laughs> oh, man. It does get stuffy. The, um... I don't know, man. It's like... It feels like the neck bit needs to be trimmed a little bit because it's really sort of touching my shoulders a lot. I mean, in the movie, you can still see some of, you know, his neck. It's just because it's a big mask, you know. But I really like it. I really, really, really like it. They have done a great job on a mass-produced mask to get the sculpt this accurate. This is crazy. Wow. Yeah, looks good. Give you all the angles. I mean, you can see how far back my eyes are. It's crazy. All right. I'll be back anyway. I'll be back. I'm going to compare. You know what I'm doing. See you in a bit. Just having a little fiddle with the hair. I'm trying to get it. A bit better before I start cutting it and stuff. It was like a big foot's pure bills. Alright. Shit, yeah. Go ahead and you absorb that. <laughs> 